Oh, hey, come along as I install, sand, and finish these white oak hardwood floors. Now, you see me here. Um, when I lay it all out ahead of time, that's called racking. You rack it out, and then they come back with the uh, pneumatic stapler and staple them all in. You notice I've got the um, aqua bar paper underneath to prevent um, moisture from coming up. And then I lay out the boards and nail them in. Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time at all, you know that I hardly ever install um, for good reason. Number one, my back is hurting so bad from this week. I, over these last probably three or four years, I've kind of just tried to go away from installing. It's just, it's hard on me. I'm a one man band and uh, especially a floor like this where the boards are two inches wide. Uh, dude, I'm putting in like a million rows to get across this place. So very happy to put this one in the rear view mirror. I hate installing. I always have, um, I'm fairly quick at it, but I just, I would much rather just be sanding and refinishing old floors. That, that is to me, that's what I enjoy doing. That's what I like doing in hardwood flooring is just taking old hundred year old floors and making them look, uh, nice again. Um, so but it is what it is. I'm on this one. Um, it was not a, not a huge floor. Um, it was about 600 square feet. So installed it. It took me um, three days to install it, which is a long time for 600 square feet. But um, it's just there's such narrow rows. Um, and it was a million, a million rows to get across here. Um, took a little bit longer than I would have liked. Um, so on this job, I actually did these floors this is in a uh, an addition i did the floors in the rest of this house like seven years ago and they still had all the paperwork and actually it's a new a new homeowner since then but they wanted the new floors to look like i originally did it the rest of their house so same wood and we're using all the same basically procedures as i would have used way back then so you saw me filling the floor. I'm using a product made by Woodwise. It is just their white oak wood filler. And I trowel filled the entire thing after rough sanding. And uh, so now we're doing a fine sanding and sanding back off all of that filler. Getting the floor as clean as we can get it, as flat as we can get it, in preparation for doing a natural seal coat. So um, it's the same product. I use it all the time. It's that dry fast sealer made by Bona. Um, it's what I used originally seven years ago um, when I originally did the rest of their house. And so to make it all match, we're going to use the same stuff on this one. So here it is all sanded and cleaned up. And we are ready at this point to start sealing. So you see me doing that now. Now I like to just spread a puddle and uh, I like to apply all my finishes this way. This is a T-bar. It is 18 inches long and it's got beveled edges. So it's nice and pointy at the edges and you can get into um, cracks all the way to the edge as well as you can get up to like uh, transitions, nosings, that sort of thing and still, uh, still do it quickly, um, you know, and easily. A lot of times coating, a lot of like companies will coat with two people coating to make it easier. Someone cutting in and someone going through the middle. I find that if I just use the ones with the beveled edges, I can do it all myself pretty quickly and still do a nice job. So this is the following day. We buff that seal coat after it dries overnight. It takes about six hours or so to, to dry. So we buff it, get it all cleaned up, and now we are going over it again. Um, two more coats to go. This is Bona Mega, and this is going to be a satin finish, just like I used originally on the rest of their house. So. I put this coat on, same process, let this dry for a couple of hours, come back and we'll apply the final coat, which you'll see me doing now. So very happy with how this one turned out. Glad that next week I won't be installing. <laughs> now that you've heard me cry and complain and moan about, about installing, it's not that bad. I just, I prefer to just do the sanding and finishing. That's what I like. That's what I enjoy. So, um, just not a huge not a huge install guy but i've got all the tools and the know-how to do it so you don't see me do it very often on this channel but here it is so here's the fours big empty room here's some afters 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!